Chemistry lecture number eight, rules for recognizing significant figures. We will need to know the number of significant figures in a measurement. This isn't too difficult. Uh, 2.3 grams has two significant figures. One, two. 435 milliliters has three significant figures. One, two, three. The tricky part comes when there are zeros in the measurement, and then you have to follow the following rules. Non-zero numbers are always significant. 72.3 grams, one, two, three significant figures. So there are three significant figures there. Uh, zeros between non-zero numbers are always significant. So these zeros are in between these two regular numbers. So we have one, two, three, four significant uh, digits. And then, so let's write that, four significant figures or significant digits. Uh, zeros that are behind a decimal and a non-zero number are significant. So this zero is behind a decimal and it's behind the number six. So this zero counts. So we have one, two significant uh, figures. Okay, so the zero has to be behind the dot and behind a regular number to be counted as significant. Zeros that act as placeholders are not significant. You have to convert the quantities to scientific notation to remove placeholder zeros. So if you look at this number right here, uh, you see the zero and you say, ah, oh, it's behind a decimal, it counts. Well, it has to be behind a decimal and a number. This zero is behind another zero, so it doesn't count. Uh, likewise with this number, this zero right here, this zero is behind a number but it's not behind a decimal, so this zero doesn't count. So that means we only have one, two, three significant digits here, and one, two, three significant digits here. Uh, to write it in scientific notation, we would write it as, this is what, one, two, 2.53 times 10 to the negative two grams, and you can clearly see it's three significant digits there. This one is going to be 4.32, so this is what, one, two, three times 10 to the third grams. And you can see it's three significant digits there. The reason why this number, or the reason why it's misleading to have a zero right here is uh, our measuring instrument uh, can't measure the ones digit. Uh, what we measure, it might actually be uh, four, three, two, one, or it could be four, three, two, two. We don't know what this number is here. Uh, this zero is just a placer. It fills things in to indicate that it's at least 4,320. 4,320 what? So when it's written in this form right here, we're saying we don't know what this number behind the two is. This number could be a one, a two, a three. We don't know. Uh, so that's how we have to write it this way. All right, and then finally, uh, counting numbers and defined constants have an infinite number of significant figures. Uh, five students, that's an infinite number of significant figures. Well, why is it an infinite number? Well, does it make things any more precise if I say we have 5.0 students or 5.00 students or 5.0000 students? We can go to infinity. So that's why um, counting numbers have a infinite number of significant digits. And the way I remember if uh, what we're measuring is a counting number is, if it doesn't make sense to refer to it in decimal or fractional form, it's a counting number. So for example, it wouldn't make sense to say you have 5.2 students. Question mark. Um, how can you have two tenths of a student? Oh yeah, there are 5.75 students in the classroom right now. Well, that doesn't make sense. It's either you know a student is there or the student's not there. So if it's a counting number, uh, it has an infinite number of significant figures. Uh, anytime you see uh, an equality or a defined equality, it's an infinite number of significant digits. So when you define 60 seconds as equal to one minute, we assume that it's 60.000 uh, all the way to infinity is equal to 1.000 all the way to infinity. All right, so counting numbers, things that you're counting that can't be expressed in decimal form have infinite numbers, and defined values have an infinite number of significant digits. All right, so let's do some for practice. If you want to hit pause and see if you can answer these yourselves, go ahead. I'm going to roll ahead and uh, answer these. 25.1 grams, well, to me, that's three significant figures. 135.56 grams, hmm, five significant figures. 
0.52 kilometers. All right, so the zero to the left doesn't count. The zero has to be behind a decimal and behind a number. It's not doing that here, so that's going to be two significant figures. The zero is a placeholder there. All right, 8.75 kilometers, three significant figures. 8.750 kilometers. This zero is behind a number and it's behind the decimal, so it counts. One, two, three, four significant figures. 8.7500. These zeros are behind numbers and they're behind the decimal. So one, two, three, four, five. So five significant figures. Those zeros count. 54300 zero, zero grams. Well, these zeros are behind numbers, but they're not behind a decimal, so it doesn't count. So this is only uh, three significant digits. So let's write it in scientific notation. 5.43, this is what? One, two, three, four. So times 10 to the fourth grams. And we have three significant figures there. All right. 2.6 times 10 to the third. When you see the power of 10, you ignore it, and you only pay attention to these guys. Two significant figures. Right. Also remember, when you see it written in the scientific notation form, they're telling you that we don't know what this number is after the uh, six. It could be 2.61, or it could be 2.62. We just don't know. Uh, so that's why we have to only write those two numbers. And we know it's at least 2,000, so that's why it's uh, 10 to the third. All right. 2,504 grams. Zero is in between. One, two, three, four significant figures. 3.001. Zero is in between. They count. One, two, three, four significant figures. 0 0.0003050 grams. Well, these zeros here are behind a decimal, but it's not behind a number, so these guys don't count. Uh, this zero here is behind a number and it's behind the decimal, so it counts. So we have one, two, three, four significant figures. This is a trickier one. Um, this zero is behind the decimal and it's behind the number, so it counts. Now, once we've established that this zero is a significant digit, we treat it as though it were like a regular number. So that means that these zeros in between are between two significant digits. So this zero counts because it's behind the decimal and it's behind the number, and these zeros in between count because they are in between two significant digits. So one, two, three, four, five significant digits. Five significant figures. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, 190.0, well the zero is behind the decimal and it's behind a number, it counts. One, two, three, four significant figures. 12 cars. Hmm, does it make sense to say 12.2 uh, cars? I counted 12.2 cars on the highway. Does that make sense? No, it doesn't. Cars are uh, a single unity. These are counting numbers. So this is an infinite number of significant figures. That's the symbol for infinity. 100 centimeters is defined as equal to one meter. So. Uh, remember, this is going to be 100.00 to infinity, and this is 1.00 to infinity. So this is also an infinite number of significant figures. Infinite. For a PDF transcript of this lecture, go to www.richardlouis.com. This has been chemistry lecture number eight, rules for recognizing significant figures.